In the dim light, opium is burned. The pipe satisfying this opium smoker. This is Myanmar, its image around the world as one of the biggest drug producers, an image the country's civilian government, now two years in power, is trying to shed. But it may not be working. In the mountains of Shan State, rare access to a place where ethnic hill tribes have long sold opium to survive. Police go village to village trying to spread word that opium production has to stop in the new Myanmar. But this police colonel says because of the problems inside the country, we are unable to successfully carry out drug eradication activities as we expected. A time of transition here, more welcoming to the drug trade, happening in a region where government control is loose. This farmer says, I know it's illegal to grow poppies. I don't want to have to do it. Even though I don't like it, I have to do it because I need to survive. If we grow other crops, I have nobody to sell them to. The United Nations and police in neighboring countries say opium, heroin, methamphetamines made in Myanmar are surging across its borders in some of the highest quantities in years. And they would have come this morning to harvest because Jason Eli is with the UN Office on Drugs and Crime. The people who grow poppy here are some of the poorest people in the country. They live in some of the most challenging environments, very difficult geographies. Uh, they live in places where conflict has been ongoing for, in some cases, decades. So illicit poppies continue to grow, and the conflict between profit and the government's desire for a new day in Myanmar goes on. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.